Okay, let me see how far do I get without knowing the whole new system 3.0 from the MPC one. Just to show you uh, out there who also don't want to read all this manual stuff or get irritated by all this. People who are saying it's bullshit or it's wonderful, I don't know. Um, let let me look, what, what could you expect? This screen uh, is like we know it, I'd say new project. Something is loading in, okay. There's something immediately, that's okay. Nothing really new here for me, okay. The upper row with metronome, everything is kind of the same. Tempo, get, get here, the jog wheel, kind of the same. Uh, if I get in here, there's a sequence, kind of the same. Where's the pattern? I don't know. I, I suppose it's this trap kit number one, default, because ah, each of the buttons uh, representing uh, the audio of, of its content here. That's okay, that's new, but that's understandable. There's a monitor, I do it on auto, uh, length, maybe that's quantizing. Uh, layers, I don't know. Uh, so trap kit default, but I don't want to do new track. Uh, or n yeah, what I did on the old MPC, there's new track here. I pl press plus, and then I can choose audio. Yes, we know this audio stuff. Ah, there's a new window, but how do I get to my tracks? I go into browse, and that's nothing new. Yeah, I load it. Go back to my main menu, <laughs> and then, then it's in. So just let, let record. So, Hey, that's great. So nice sound, nothing new. So what to think about? I don't think anything here. <laughs> it's working like it used to be. Uh, I stop the whole thing and uh, oh, the acoustic kit is still running through. That's a representation of, of, of this here. Yeah, wow, it's, it's a long tail here. A uh, new track, I want to have a um, plug-in. Uh, choose from this menu here. Could be MIDI, external, or could be CV. I have Eurorock here. That's also nothing new. I have videos of this about that. Record arm, uh, I have uh, Hype, and I have uh, different tube synths, Solina, MPC drum kits. Uh, of course, we need some bass lines here, Fat Sign, what I... There must be somewhere that I can change it to to, to minor. Uh, probably there is, of course. Okay, let's let's stay in 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 major. Okay, like it used to be. It's auto quantizing. If I want to quantize it, TC, and uh, it's the same. I know this. Nothing new. So what to com complain about? That, that's pretty easy, yes? And so I can uh, scroll myself th through all these tracks and I pr probably could expect they're working as they used to do. But what about audio? That was a mess with the old MPC and I got this um, Shure SM56 here and uh, it's directly into the MPC. We all know the one hasn't got um, um, power for the mic, uh, so it's probably not working that well, but I, I choose audio, let's have a look what's going on here, aha, aha, there's uh, something coming in, that's not too bad, we can use this here to make it a little bit bigger, the uh, record arm is there, and uh, let me try if it works, I don't know, maybe I made a mistake here, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Well, there's something in there. Uh, normally, when I use this dynamic mics, uh, I do something like normalizing. I don't know if that's okay here. R record arm is out. I can solo it. There's a solo button. Yeah, here's something. Um, but if I want to have it louder. And I remember on the MPC uh, before the two version, uh, there was a mixer somewhere here. Ah, there's a mixer. You see that? Okay, and I don't need the metronome here anymore. I put it off. Okay. 
yeah, 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 there's something in there, but it's still not loud enough. <clears throat> so now we come to the effects se uh, section. There's different possibilities here, like in the old one, but I have in the mixer directly here an FX, and I say plus, and I su say something like dynamics uh, to pump it up a little bit, that it's louder, just select, and, uh, and I can go in there. Output. <laughs> I can do something with that. And while it's working, I do a different effect here. Oh, let's let's take a maximizer. I don't know. Wow, here we go. And I do some of these vocal plugins from there. They have vocal doubler. Yeah, baby. And I do something vocal harmonizer. Hey, that's great! And I don't have to look any more uh, in the, into this menu stuff. This is most of the things I normally uh, uh, working with. I can also say muting, yes. And, uh, the whole FX sand, and this is pretty neat to do that here. Uh, so. How do I get back? Uh, I got this audio thing. What about this arrangement part? I'm coming from DAW, so should I expect something like... Mm, is it like that? No, let me have a look. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. So I expected something else. I expected some sort of a big arrangement, an arrangement like I know from the other doors. Let me have a look if I can get there. What about these things here? Uh, this is a mixer. This is gr really great. Yes. And what about that? A uh, pad mixer, XY pad. This is just uh, the expansions I can get into. <clears throat> so where is a menu that I get something uh, if, I, if I get in here again? Okay, I'm back again. I found what could be the problem, and you might have the same. If you go to arrangement and expect this uh, door uh, thing, uh, no. In this uh, arrangement page, it, it's, it's just uh, that you can go from one plugin to the other. Uh, but if I want to get in there, I go to menu and say arrange. Uh, this little screen is not so super good, but uh, if I get in here, I got this uh, plugin 01. What if I want to edit? I say edit, erase, trim, transpose. Okay, but I want to go there uh, with my fingers and do something with this MIDI events here. What about that? I go in in there and don't understand. Doesn't doesn't work. And maybe fingers is also wrong. It would be very nice to have a pencil or something to do this. Uh, of course, everybody will cry out, no, well, this idiot, he doesn't understand, but I'm pretty sure more, many of us will come to the same point uh, where they don't understand, A, this arrangement thing, why doesn't this appear immediately, and why can't I move these events here, and where's the grid and everything, so this is, yeah, there's some sort of grid, maybe I made it too big or whatever. Um, and of course, I, nothing happens when I got in, get, I get in here and tap on it and want to drag it somewhere, but sh should be possible in a way, yes? Uh, I don't want to erase or clear anything, but let me have a look a few seconds and then I'll be back. So another couple of minutes and I found the mistake that I can, uh, can't get in here and move something. That would be convenient, but uh, again, the same with the, like with the arrangement thing, I go into menu, and then you have this grid view, and you go into grid view, and then you have this thing like in Cubase, uh, piano roll, uh, or whatever, and can, I can go, go through there and uh, make it bigger. And, and there are some tools up here, and this is the tool I need to have to make it like this, because I found if I get on one of these buttons, uh, th uh, parts here, and want to move it, uh, and it, if it's small, it doesn't work with the screen. So I make it big in this case, and then I might take this uh, here and go on there and choose it and can move it. Okay, 
once you know it, it's okay, but it's a little bit uh, detour. There's also a um, thing to erase it or a uh, pencil to draw something new. Yes. And uh, yeah, maybe I can hear it then. Yeah, that works. Uh, so um, to understand this arrangement for me was uh, this is a representation of the whole thing. I uh, should go into menu again and go into the range. Then I see the whole thing all in all. In that, I don't see any uh, possibilities except this and control of the whole thing or get in here and solo it. It's sort of a big mixer of the whole thing. But uh, to get into this event, I'll go to menu and uh, arrange was that one and grid view is that one. And maybe sample view, uh, uh, sample edit uh, is, is something I can do there also. Uh, so this is quite interesting. Let, but let's go back to this main page here. I get solo, record arm, uh, and uh, this was very good to go into the plugins with the FX. Uh, I can have send effects here uh, in and out if I have an attached uh, interface like the SSL 12 here can use even better for the microphone here. Uh, what about if we want, I want to um, edit the sample, uh, uh, the audio? Yes. Um, okay, I go out here again. I go into plugin one, blah, blah, blah. This is audio one. Ah, double click on the audio. And uh, ah, they, I got the tools again up here and uh, can go in there and ah, I can choose something. This is like in the door. Yeah. I, I also can browse samples and do something with it. Uh, there I can say edit start, edit end, uh, split. No, it doesn't work here. I don't know. I've chosen something. Ah, I've got to choose like that. Uh-huh. You see that? I get all, this seems to be a bug or something. I don't know. Doesn't work like I, I, I want to have it working. If I put it on. This is the sample. What about, ah, this is very, ah, it's not that precise to switch off the buttons or do something with the buttons here. Yeah. No. This is, pff, I cannot use it. it. It's like tapping and you don't know. Maybe it changes if I put it, switch it off again, but I'm used to this should work right out of the box. What about if I take this? Aha. If I take the arrow, I can move it. Okay, I remember that. And if I take that, I can take something out. And then I normally would say that I should, act. what about editing then? Clear, trim to lens, flatten, flatten. I say clear if it goes, no, I don't want to clear the whole clip. Yes, I just wanted to clear this little part. So here, here the mess starts uh, where you really have to work on it and have to read uh, the manual to really understand how it's working. Yes, uh, if I get in here, I cannot choose something. What about the that one? No, also not. What about this? It's only making it bigger or smaller. Yeah, that's working in a way, yes. Um, and normally I would say I choose this and then I work. What about uh, sample edit if I do the button down here? Uh, this is uh, like I, I knew it. Yes, this is uh, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> something uh, I really know. I can do stamps. Uh, um, some people complained about stamps. Uh, it's not so good on this one, but better on the on the software. But um, yeah, so how do I get in here? No, this is just to name the sample. Trim, zoom, process, function, discard. I know this process thing, uh, process thing from the other one and then we got reverse silence extract fade in fade out reverse uh, ah here is finally what i've been looking for normalizing yes uh, yeah so i found the button they should uh, put it right on there because this is a function i really need and i need i need especially if i get this dynamic marking into here 
it's much too low by volume, so I normally normalize, which is suboptimal, but uh, in a way it works. Then I can assign it to a button here and all these things. Well, 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 I don't want to bother you with much more, but uh, in the end you see <coughs> the, the basics. Doing, doing something like that here is, is pretty easy, and if I want to have a mix, it's even easier, yes? This is really great, 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 great. Uh, I love it. Uh, the whole thing with the FX is, is great. If you understand th this concept of uh, the parts here and uh, or the tracks, <clears throat> th that can be anything uh, from audio drum to plug in key groups or whatever, uh, to this brilliant new function uh, putting audio right in there, what you used to do in a, in a DAW. And then go into arrangement. There's a little bit confusing that you cannot go in here. There's no tools in here. Uh, and if you pr press the tools, you have something like here. So th this seems to be levels of tools here, or levels of uh, construction and destruction in the whole thing. That's what they thought. I I'm pretty sure. So I go via menu, or maybe there's a button uh, that I immediately come to uh, this arrange window here and uh, have a look of a whole, uh, on the whole thing, or then get, go into grid view. Uh, and uh, grid view, of course, for, for only functions with <clears throat> the whole MIDI thing and do something there. Uh, in the end, uh, I come a long way in this uh, 15 minutes or so. Um, and what I can say, uh, I agree that this is quite good. It's except with this uh, um, using your fingers here. I don't know if, if I find a shortcut to use a uh, um, pencil or something to make it more precise. Or maybe it's just my fingers today, I, I don't know. Uh, it's a little bit tricky on this small thing here. Um, on the big uh, uh, MPC, it might be better. <clears throat> the, the rest is good. I would then try to go into the sample edit and do something with normalizing or reversing or uh, uh, grid edit or all these things. But uh, as I said, I don't want to bother you. Just get to give you an impression, that's probably what you can expect if you change to 3.0. It's not going down, there's no crashes uh, so far. Uh, the basics are working. Uh, it's not so complicated to uh, understand the new um, structure, how to work with this. Uh, I would say it's uh, uh, better. For me it's better, but I'm not this MPC guy. Uh, Primarily, so for, for somebody is coming from uh, arranging with uh, Cubase or Ableton or whatever, uh, this is really an advancement. And thank you for Akai to doing this for free. How can we complain? You can stay with your old firmware; uh, it's still working, even if you take an MPC from from ten years ago or fifteen years ago. Uh, don't change your winning system. Uh, I don't know if you import your things, if, if it's working in here. There can be some uh, things that are not working, but I like it. So try it by yourself. If it's out, I think it's still better. I'm a better tester here, uh, or I was in this beta program. We've all been waiting, but uh, it will be out pretty soon, I'm pretty sure, maybe October or November or what. Uh, I, I changed and I don't regret it. Okay, see you next time, guys.